Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this uh, playlist of 30 days of learning search engine optimization, this is day five and we will talk about search engine optimization fundamentals. I'm not going to talk about keyword research. I'm not going to talk about backlinks. I'm not going to talk about on page, off page and technical SEO. I am going to talk about search engine optimization basics that what Google needs from your website and what a user might need from your website. So if you understand these concepts clearly, then you can uh, do search engine optimization better on your website and you can rank your website on Google and other search engines easily. So these concepts are very important before even starting search engine optimization, before on-page optimization, before off-page optimization and before any technical optimization. You need to understand what Google wants from your website, what a user wants from your website. So you can just uh, adjust your website uh, with their needs and you can rank uh, your website easily on Google and other search engines. So I will take you to my computer screen and there we will discuss in detail all those things about uh, search engine optimization basics. So we'll start with this document and this document is very, very important and it was given to, uh, it was given by Google to its search quality raters. Okay. There are some raters that rate uh, the websites that are ranking on the first page or second page or third page of Google. So this is very important. In this document, Google tells you that what it needs from any website, what a user might expect from any website. So you can just adjust your website and you can rank your website on Google. So there are some things like, as you can see that the first uh, part one here is page quality rating. So Google, uh, the first thing Google considers on your website is, it, is, is your page quality. So you have to have a good page quality. Like you can see that understanding web pages and websites. So first of all, Google understands your website uh, quality by uh, defining your uh, web page, uh, by understanding your web page and understanding your website, understanding the purpose of your website. So if you have uh, an e-commerce website and your purpose would be selling some product, like in your niche, if you are selling some organic products, then uh, the purpose of your website is to sell some organic products. If you are a, a blog writer and you are writing some articles on your website, then the purpose of your website would be uh, to give some information about some specific topic to your readers. So Google understands the purpose of your web page at first and the second here is it will understand the web page content. There are some types of different types of web page content like the main content here is if you are writing a blog, then your main content would be the article of your website. And supplementary content, it will be headers and it will be footers and it will be menus and all those things would be supplementary content. And the advertisement and monetization, Google understands all those things about your website, the main content, supplementary content and advertisement and all those things. So your main content should be relevant. Your main content should be uh, of high quality uh, because if Google understands the main content, uh, Google will identify the main content. And if your main content is of low quality, Google will not rank your website on search engine result page. Okay. The second here is understanding the website, finding the home page. Google will find your home page, uh, and then what Google will do is Google will understand uh, who is responsible for this website. Uh, like I have uh, a website of e-commerce about organic product. I'm selling organic products on my e-commerce platform. Google will try to understand that who I am and what expertise I have in organic products and why am I selling organic products. So Google will try to uh, understand the uh, honor, understand the expertise of honor and experience of honor of the web page of, of the web the website. If you are writing some blog article about health, uh, healthness, then uh, what expertise do you have in that health category? So Google will understand, Google will search on the web and all those things and then 
uh, it will uh, just try to understand that what expertise uh, do you have on your web, uh, on, on, on your that category. Finding about us, Google will find about us, contact information and customer service information, all those things to understand uh, who is responsible for the website and who created the content on that page. So this is very important if you have, uh, if you don't have experience in what you are doing, then uh, it will be very difficult uh, for you to rank your website on Google first page. So this is very important concept and the second, third concept here is reputation and quality of your main content. Uh, like I've talked about quality of the main content is very important. You must have a good quality content on your uh, main content. And the second one is a reputation of the website and content creators. This is what I've talked about who's responsible uh, for the website, like reputation of a website. Uh, you must have a good reputation of a website. Then, uh, in this part, backlinks comes like if you, if you have a good backlink from a very good website in your category, then you will have uh, certainly a good reputation. Customer reviews as reputation information, but if you have good customer reviews, if you are selling some product and a lot of people are giving good reviews on your product, then it will, uh, Google will consider it as reputation information. Okay, how to search for reputation uh, and it, uh, it is telling it, its raters to how to search for reputation information and reputation of content creators, what to do when you find no reputation information. Okay. So reputation is very important if you are uh, doing some stuff online on your website then you must have that experience that you must have uh, that authority and uh, expertise in your niche uh, so that you can, you can rank easily on Google uh, by giving Google a signal that I am the expert in my field. So this is very important as you can see that experience, expertise, authoritativeness and trust. E -E. This is very important concept, e -E. if you follow e -E, then you can uh, easily rank your website on Google. Understanding user search user needs like here is the main content, the part 2 of this website, the part 2 of this uh, guideline document, understanding search user needs. Okay, the first one was uh, what Google wants from your website and the second one is what a uh, user wants uh, from your website or what a user wants with that query. So understanding search query and understanding search intent is very important for you as an SEO aspirant. Like you can see that understanding search users, queries and results. Okay. So you must understand the search intent of your user. If, uh, if you are writing a blog, if you are writing a blog article, then there's no need to put keywords that are, that are uh, transactional keywords. Like if I uh, tell you an example that I am a blog writer about organic products, then there's no need to put a transactional keyword organic products for sale, organic products price and all those things. Uh, because the intent of my uh, blog or the intent of my user would be uh, searching for information and searching for uh, relevant information about my category. So I need to understand the search query, I need to understand the user uh, location, I need to understand all those things uh, about search user needs and all those things like query meanings can change over time uh, because if a uh, query is a transactional in uh, today's time it will be uh, it may be a uh, informational keyword in some uh, other time understanding user intent you need to understand the user intent and all those things so these are some important concepts about search engine optimization and search engine uh, search engine optimization basics you need to understand these concepts I will drop the link of this document in description below you can just go and read this document, full document, this is where you can learn all those important concepts about search engine optimization, that what Google wants from your website and what a user might expect from your website. So this is very important concept. You need to uh, understand these concepts and you need to uh, follow these uh, steps, follow these. You need to keep these things in mind while doing search engine optimization on your website. So this is the last video that we are discussing in theory and uh, from 
Uh, tomorrow we will uh, start doing things practically and we'll start with on-page optimization, title tags, meta tags and description and all those things, image optimization and we'll start uh, doing things practically from tomorrow so you need to understand this video carefully if you uh, couldn't understand this video properly you just have to uh, re-watch this video and try to understand all those things that I've shared in this video. So that's all for this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then do it now so you won't miss my videos in future. Thank you for watching subscribe for more.